Barbecue Warriors. I want to welcome you back here to my barbecue pavilion right here at the compound. Today we're going to be doing and taking on the task of cooking beef short ribs. Beef short ribs is something that a lot of us don't get tender. We wind up having to take a knife and fork to them. In my opinion, if you're taking a knife and fork to them, you might as well be eating a ribeye. We got a four bone beef short rib. First thing we're gonna talk about is the prep work of it. The back of these ribs right here, the beef rib is more like tallow. Do not remove the back membrane off a of beef rib. The beef rib is gonna help us keep that meat intact onto the bones when we bite. The first thing we're gonna do is remove the fat off the top of the lean meat right here. Make sure you take off just the fat. Don't get into that lean meat. Now I'm going to show you something. On a beef rib, you're going to look on the side, there's like a V. And I don't want to remove this V right here of fat because it goes straight down to the bone. And if you remove it, all you got is a gap. I believe the more stuff or more fat that you take out like that, like the wedge on a brisket, leaves a gap, but it also leaves another area for moisture to leave that piece of meat. My opinion, no rib, especially a beef rib, needs any moisture leaving the meat. So I'll leave that intact. But I clean up everything else. All right, our next step is we're gonna make up our injection. Eight ounces of beef broth per slab, which is two cups. All right, everything you see right here is what's gonna be used on our beef rib today. We're gonna dissolve it up. That looks good. Prime it. My injection gun's primed. The bones are running like this. I want to inject with the bones. We're going to inject above it because the meat's above the bones on here. It's not kind of on the sides and the top like a pork rib. Now it's time to apply our seasoning, vegetable oil. I like the vegetable oil. It's neutral. It doesn't have any flavor. All right, starting out with a hot rub. I like a little bite. Just a very light coat, very light. Get them edges, gonna gnaw them edges. Now we got our hickory rub. Hickory rub goes really well with beef. Give those edges. All right, last thing we're gonna add, is gonna be our hickory salt. I always start with the bottom of any piece of meat and I work to the top, because I want the top to look the best. All right, I got my rack here. I love cooking on these racks, y'all know that. Now, all I gotta do now is finish off the tops. A Little bit of veggie oil, rubbing it in. Just a little light coat. Now, they're ready to go on our smoker. We got our smoker here set at 300 degrees. It's time for it to go on two hours in our smoke, then we're going to pan. Barbecue Warriors, we're back. They've been in the smoker right now for two hours, so it's time to pan. I go by time on things like this. It's about color as well as about getting smoked, but I don't care about what the internal is right now. My internal one is finished. When the total cook time is up, it's going to be 210 degrees. That's what you're looking for on beef ribs to make sure they're tender. I got a regular full-size aluminum hotel pan, disposable. We're gonna put two cups of apple juice in it. Ribs off. Well, they look good. Nice. Take a sheet of butcher paper that fits just right over the top. Now wad it up because it makes it easier to bind around it. And I lay that right there on top of the meat itself. Now I come back with the foil. Seal it down tight. Now it's time to go back on. You're looking about a total cook time of about five hours, four and a half to five, cooking at 300 degrees. We've already been on for two. Now it's time to pan. We've got about two and a half to three more hours. Barbecue Warriors, we're back again on these beef ribs. It's been three hours. Been sitting here resting for about 30 minutes. Look at that. Now, got my vinegar sauce over here. 
already heated up. And I love vinegar sauce on my beef. Now we're gonna go on and we're gonna slice some of these boys. I want y'all to look at that smoke ring right there. Oh, still attached. Look at there. Awesome bone. <laughs> Barbecue Warriors, you seen it first. Killer beef ribs. I'll see y'all next time.